the term Global Village was invented by a New York journalist to describe an incredible string band concert. And it was the first time it was ever used. If you look it up in the Oxford Dictionary, the gl term Global Village meant uh, it was somebody who said that the incredible string band concert was like a global village. And I like the idea, and music is definitely a common, uh, a common language. All, all human beings uh, enjoy it. And uh, once you get away from the words themselves, the sounds of music are, are international, aren't they? Jordan is a hard road. Jordan is a hard road. That Jordan is a hard road to travel. Whew, Jordan is a hard road. It was long ago in Celtic times, uh, the bard was uh, somebody, and they, he would either. Um, they would ask him questions about, about the future and he would uh, reply and make a prophecy. Or, but sometimes it, it, what he would say wasn't about the future but more about the present. Uh, and he would uh, uh, string together words which were strange and, and sometimes hard to understand. Uh, and that made, him, made it something you could, you could make what you liked of. Know it all. Some people say that I'm kind of a bit like a modern day bard. You know, it's just a word, really. It just means a poet, a, a, a sacred poet or a magic poet from long ago. That's what a bard was. Used to be, in the end, my friends, just about the trust you stole. You have to go someplace away alone with your tarnished gold. Now the leaves are falling, but when the leaves are gone, just like the I used to like the American writer Jack Kerouac, and I used to try and write, you know, freeform writing like that. But at the same time, I also liked traditional music, uh, Irish, Scottish music. One of the people he liked was, was William Blake. And William Blake got some of his ideas from the Druids and, uh, and uh, the ancient, uh, the ancient uh, inspired, this kind of inspired voice of early Irish, early Welsh. And um, I don't know, I just love, I fell in love with that whole notion of, um, of that, uh, the, the, the beauty of words and what Dylan Thomas calls the color of saying. The color of saying, it's a nice expression. Silver lost and buried gold, such was my home in days of old. Such was my home in days of Oh I think my idea was to try and write stream of consciousness lyrics and then make the music follow the words. And um, the same way that, that naive painters you know, would, would, would just paint, whether they had the technique or not, I began to like the idea of music without technique. Just to just to just to make the sounds, you know, and spontaneously make make sounds. And I don't know. All the rest of my life has been somewhere between those two extremes: the traditional and the and the spontaneous. Scoops go 
gone out to hunting, rode o'er the moss and the mountain bare. Most of the music that I'm interested in now is spiritual music, because I'm, I'm, I'm in my 60s, I'm 65 years old, so I'm getting ready to, for eternity. So I, I, I like to sing about, uh, about the magic of being alive, and a lot of my music is, is kind of religious, although not any, uh, any special kind of religion, just in general, I, I, I believe in eternity and, and the spirit. <laughs>